This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Well, that's much more of an opening than the original. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Baltimore here with uh, another game, and during the spooky season, it's Castlevania Chronicles for the PlayStation 1. Uh, it's basically a remake of the original game from 1986, and this is the 2001 remake. Now, there's two different versions on this disc. There's the original mode, which is basically, uh, basically just an updated version of the original game uh, to not quite the PlayStation because uh, standards, because it's like not 3D and blocky like Final Fantasy VII or something like that, but it's a bit more new, graphically more appealing than the NES. So the NES has its charm because that's why I grew up with. So maybe nostalgia go goggles are on right now. But and then we got the range mode, uh, which what the range mode of this game is is basically it's the original mode except for some tweaks like music is different, um, Sound and Belmont's avatar is different on screen and there's like a few other minor changes as well it's nothing huge but it was included in this um version because i think the original mode was the original remake of this was a while back and then they tacked it onto this and then they added the extra version to this as well so this is for those who want the classic game but a little bit more of a modern go so uh let's try out the original mode and if i'm feeling feeling into it i might do the arranged mode as well just to show off the differences of it but uh, let's play the game one more time and see if the later era makes this game a little bit more easier. Although, I mean, it's not like the NES one was the most difficult thing. You know, it's easier than ghouls and ghosts or ghosts and goblins, however you want to do it, but uh, still. Yeah, we get a non-FMV version of the cutscene we just saw at the beginning of the game when we first started, except it's the game version of it instead, so. So what it takes us, it takes us into a unique menu in this one. So it was, I, I thought it was like 1993, but I'm trying to remember what system, I think, I guess it must have been Super Famicom or something like that. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it had to be Super Famicom version of this game that they redid so many years later because this is the 1993 version, but then if you play the arranged, it's the 2001 variation on it. So you can either go to like sound mode and just listen to the music, or you can play the game. So let's start it up. And then this time, unlike the original game where you just play until you beat it, this we have like sort of a, what's the, it's, it's, it's similar to Legend of Zelda, where uh, you have your built-in saves, so when you die, you can come back to it later. So, a little bit nicer than the original game, but the original game wasn't that long when you think about it. So, it 
it was fine that it didn't have it didn't have a permanent save in the battery or whatever. So let's just put in a name. Uh, let's just call ourselves I don't know, V or something like that, just because it'll take me forever to spell out my whole name, and I don't <laughs> I don't need to do it that badly. So now right, after we do that, we can make some modifications to uh, uh, some of the button triggers and stuff like that. But I'm gonna leave it all alone. So. Oh, nice, nice, like, with the little, you know, drum ding on that, so. Yeah, you can already tell it's a major upgrade, look at that. Although I think they kept it in the same speed, or maybe even made him even slower than the original one, but. Yeah, once again, we're Simon Belmont into the fray. Um, ooh, did we do that? No, it was the lightning, but yeah, you can tell they've already tried to improve upon the original game a little bit. Um, I think the original game is still great. Let me see if I can get that um, treasure to pop up, because they actually left it in this version. I think it has to, it's like something about like jumping either into it or I got to spawn before when I was playtesting this to make sure the game was working. I tried I tried getting the uh, crown up here. Oh well, it was a crown that gives you like 2,000 um, points. Uh, man, what does that sound with, man? I mean, I think I still prefer the original game, but I appreciate the effort that they did to make it a little bit, you know, obviously make it a bit more cinematic. What's that in the background there? Ah, it's probably nothing. Nope, that bat tried to get me, but... Man, like, when I played the game before, like the original NES one, that thing hurt me, so, uh, looks like we're already doing better than the original. And in this game, you have a, li a little bit more, um... A little bit more control over your jumps, because in the previous game, if you jumped, you pretty much had to go all the way. There was... Oop, there was no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But in this case, I can, um... Uh, I can I can control my jump in the middle of the jump, so I'm not stuck on a certain thing, so that's already a plus there. But that means it makes the game a little bit easier, but they add difficulty in other matters. So it's not like, um, oh, risque portraits. Of course they would have that back in Europe back in the day. Um, but yeah, as far as I'm aware, for the most part, this is almost beat for beat like the original game, except I think the levels are slightly longer, if I recall. Um, I'm not as familiar with this collection. I have I have the collection because obviously I like I liked, uh, um, you know Castlevania, so I bought it. But I'll admit I didn't play this as often because I think what was that around this time when this game came out? 2001. So it was near. It was quite near the end. I think it was near the end of the PlayStation era too, because uh, PS2 had come out I think just recently or, or was about to. So this is one of the last PS1 games, and obviously it doesn't look like one. Because you get the, uh, um, I don't even know what that thing was. Um, ah, Fleeman! That's why I get forget what the meat. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, this ain't your original uh, Castlevania, that's for sure. Not quite the same way, anyway. Because, yeah, they cheap you, cheap shot you with that. Because I think in the original game the meat was there. I could have, could be wrong, but uh, they swap it. So there's some, like I said, minor changes, but. You can get to that. <laughs> I was about to say. Well, although I'm not even using my sub weapon like I'm supposed to be, so. But yeah, remember in the previous game, um, we would have already been like. <laughs> you know, it's funny how I just played the game and I'm we're forgetting like minor details on it, but. Um, um, yeah, I'll we'll go with that, sure. There. You know, I'll probably be like the last game where I'll, I'll kind of forget to use my sub weapons often, even though they're usually pretty useful. So, even Belmont can't climb his kind of the stairs even, any faster than he already is. Why? Why can't you climb the stairs faster, Belmont? There's some. Uh, Right. Oh, <laughs> they dropped the axe on me. I was gonna get it anyway, but all right, cool. Yeah, I can't help but hitting all walls. You never know what'll pop up, you know. Oh, don't want that dagger. Okay. What are you even doing there anyway? You like get taken out a few shots anyway, so. W what's the purpose of your existence, my friend? Why are you here? And you're probably thinking, why would I, why would I like uh, replay this game when I've just beaten it before? Well, I wanted to show off like 
you know, the very, many different variations of, of this game. And, uh, and you're probably thinking, why didn't I just play Super Castlevania 4? Because that's technically a re, um, a remake of the first game too, in, in an extent. I'm like, well, you're probably right there, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to show the one that was a direct remake instead of, ah, oh, come on, man. Even with a game where I can control my jumps, I'm having trouble hitting this guy. And talk about, uh, talk about the my my action game skills not being very very solid. Yeah, they changed up his uh, um, attack patterns this time. So instead of just taking the hit, um, the bat will um, split into multiple um, little mini bats. So you can actually, so you can't just like easily kill him with like a few uh, axe shots, if that makes sense. Yeah, you have to be a bit careful. Luckily, he doesn't do that much damage to me. But yeah, I like the, I, I even like the uh, variations on the boss bosses this time, just to make it a bit more challenging. Because if they made exactly like the original game, you know, it'd be pretty easy up till Dracula, you know. But anyway, yep, we beat that stage. No problem. I think this I think this remake is a bit a, a bit more forgiving than the original game too because they they studied up on game design at that at the time that this game was made had been uh, had been worked on a bit more just in general in the gaming industry so a little bit more focus on gameplay and not trying to punish the players ridiculously well some games still did that but you know you know what I mean like it's not not gonna tear your hair out you know from the, from some of the difficult settings and everything like that. Oh. Alright, well, we got the, uh, yeah, now we have, uh, now we have, like, dropping levels and stuff like that, so now, uh, no, because in the previous game, if you dropped, if there was a stage like this, you would, uh, you would die if you hit a certain point, because, you know, you're, the game couldn't handle you, like, going to the next screen, it considered you out of bounds, so it insta-kill you. But in this case, we can now move on screens and stuff like that. Little, and little touches added to the to the areas, so it's not exactly the same. So it, it's worth it's worth the checking out the this game just for those who want like the same original experience, but with like slightly less more added to it. Um, and also they added a bit to the story as well, because in the previous game, you uh, I think in the booklet it said you were just Dracula had been resurrected for some reason, and um, your ancestor had a defeated him so you're just about you're basically going okay someone resurrect him gotta go gotta go beat him in this game they kind of explain um, that he was resurrected by someone specifically and it looks like they took the heart of someone and uh, used it to sacrifice it to uh, or destroy it or whatever to resurrect Dracula and yeah I did something there that you all didn't expect yeah you can whip down in this game as well I think you can you no you can't whip up because you use your ability but yeah you can whip down this time um, which is weird, because in, like, earlier, they had, uh, in Super Castlevania, actually, yeah, I think Super Castlevania came out, was it around this year, or a bit later, something like that? Um, in Super Castlevania, they would let you whip everywhere. I don't, I'm actually not a fan of the idea of being able to whip everywhere, though, um, interestingly enough. Uh, main reason is because if you can whip everywhere, what's the point of your, uh, um, uh, alley dax? What's the point of, what's the point of the sub-weapons, then? Like, isn't that the point? Is that if you have a sub weapon, you can reach. Uh, it allows you to reach things that your whip normally couldn't get. So if you can just whip any anywhere, what's the point? You know? I don't know. I'm like one of the few people that have an issue with it, actually, from a gameplay point. Because if you if you can whip everywhere, get rid of your sub weapons or change the design or change what the sub weapons do, so that they become useful in this game, unlike before. Oh, there's those dang skeletons. Remember when you gave me so much trouble? You're still giving me trouble. Eh, uh, we... Yeah, well, we... <laughs> skip you. Or not. Unless there's a, uh... Unless I missed a, uh... I even hit him? Man. There we go. Aha. And yeah, I was like, we're almost dead, though. What the... The heck? Oh, um, I don't need that. Do you have anything else? Uh, I could take the boomerang, maybe. Oh, I thought... How do I take the boomerang? Maybe I have to hit it. There we go. Thank you, dude. 
Yeah, it's like some random merchant or whatever you want to come across where if you find him, he'll let you give you ability, uh, get you one of the sub weapons or whatever. Odd. Yeah. This game has a lot of little little d details about it. I don't remember every single one, so. Uh, there it comes. I was about to say, when's the, uh, when's the ref going to come? It'll never come. Will it? Never. And look at that. I haven't even fallen in the water once. Oh, right, because we uh, got rid of the item, so uh, I had to get the thing all over again. But unfortunately, I'm probably going to end up. Uh, whoa. It's going to. All right, fishman. Ah. Whoa. Getting, getting a little light on the raft here. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Ah. <laughs> no. Don't knock me off into the water. No. Okay. I think we're, I think we're gravy. I think we got this. Okay, I'm not hitting any of that stuff, so. Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot you're supposed to start moving as soon as that happens. Whoops. All right. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, PlayStation era, you can't uh, you can't avoid the uh, um, can't avoid the load loading times of the of the uh, CD. Man, I was kind of hoping I'd get pr a pretty decent length into this game without dying, but uh, nope. My skills are not as good as I thought. Oh, whoa, yeah. And obviously the getting hit by enemies does have the punishing back, back, uh, oh, well, um, yeah, you gotta be careful about, about that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, getting hit isn't as punishing in this game. It doesn't like knock you like halfway across the screen. It seems like, you know, okay. <laughs> Funny how I did well before. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I die, I'm, a uh, I, start dying multiple times back to back that's it's usually the chain effect you know as soon as you as soon as you die once you you're gonna just start like suffering bad uh bad luck luckily the game luckily the whip is pretty um, uh, quick too because in the previous game obviously the whip was a uh, whip uh, was kind of slow so you had to like um, time your the whip usage Oh, what? I jumped that. What the heck, game? Maybe I jumped too early and it didn't uh, didn't recognize that that was a an, uh, a thing I could go to, huh? Well then, and of course we're dying at this level multiple times, which I had last time I played. So this isn't too this isn't too unfamiliar to me. Oops! Oh! Oh God! And it begins. And it begins. Yes. We are going to be suffering quite heavily in this game. I wonder how many continues it'll take me. I don't know. I'm trying to remember how many the first game actually took me. I never actually counted. I know it was quite a few, especially by Dra by the time I got to Dracula. It was a, uh, it was uh, quite a few. But I stopped counting after a while. I was like, no, nah, this is going to give me a headache if I keep doing this. So. Uh, uh, oh. Oh yeah, um, I almost went into like old NES mode where I was like, oh, I can't jump because I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> not uh, jump properly or I, I, I can't control my jumps. I'm like, no, this is the old game. I can't control my jumps. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, oh yeah, and it lets you. No, oh, wait, never mind. But anyway, I, I guess I just didn't jump far enough. I don't know. All right, boss time. Uh oh. Yeah, too bad I don't have the axe or the, uh, uh, oh yeah, every time he hits you is, a. Uh, uh, I think also he, his tail also smacks the, um, the raft so it can knock you off, but, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, it could be a challenging boss because, you know, he does that flip thing, so if you're not prepared for the, the raft to go down, you could die, like, really fast, so you'd have to do the whole section again, but, nope, we did it, so. Yeah, some bosses are really easy, some are really hard. It really depends on uh, your view of things, so. Let's see, who was the boss in the second level we... Was it the mummies? Now I'm... I just played the game and I already forgot. Man, my, my short-term memory is bad. But, uh... Because in the... Oh, yeah, we got trees with humans inside of them. Um, 
yeah, we got new enemies in this game too. You know, uh, caterpillars and stuff like that. So, um, let's see. It was, yeah, you can't hurt them on the outside because they're like they're chitinous shells or whatever. So I had to wait till they get to the fleshy bottom. Overall, most of the, the redesigns for the game weren't too bad. The flea male looked a little weird for some reason, but I guess they're supposed to. So, ah, dang it, got hit by an eagle. And these aren't these aren't your Lord of the Ring eagles either. No, oh, well, nah, I don't want the boomerang. Or I don't want that. I mean, dagger's good because it's fast, but I prefer the boomerang in this case. I think. I like uh, like a lot of the remix music in this game. I mean, I have a really soft spot for the original, but uh oh, got gobs of goo. Goo! Watch out, goo! I don't want to be gooed. I don't want any Nickelodeon gack. Oh, wait, that's something else. Let's see, what was it? I think the enemies were bat mummies, um, the uh, the monster, um, and and Igor, death. And Dracula. Yeah, that's it. I had to think for a second. I'm like, I. So, for the archers. Uh oh. Ow. Statues have come to life. Did you just make noise? Or fart at me? I don't know what's going on here. What is going on with that noise? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ah, man. <laughs> Dying more often. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, we go all the way back here. Oh, well. That's made, that, because of the weird the the fact that they've extended some levels and stuff like that. This will probably take me longer than the three episodes from previously, uh, which technically I probably could have finished in two. But that Dracula, or beaten death, and then the subsequent level after that took me a few quite a few tries, and especially fighting Dracula that took me a few tries as well. Man, although I I, I was pleased as pop with myself when I finally beat it. You know, got gritted down and uh, and. Found out his pattern. Oh, forgot about that. Even though I just did that. Okay. Hopefully the fleet men don't require you to uh, uh, duck to uh, hit them. So just like in the original game. So. All right, get out of here. I want to fight the goo now. I want to fight the goo monster. Okay. Onward we go. You know, kind of like the way that the way that Simon is designed. It's almost like he's just shaking a jog. He's like, <laughs> you know, he's not even he's not even like uh, like anxious or worried about like what's going on. He's just like just taking a stroll in Transylvania. You know, it's like I'm gonna kill me, Dracula. Dracula will be killed by by me. I'm jogging happy and free. Or something like that. I don't know. That's just what it seems like to me. <laughs> I die here pretty soon, so I'll have to definitely control my uh, my attack of uh, being attacked. Ooh, okay, we're at a new area, so I don't. Oh wait, no, I'm I'm at zero lives, so I'll probably have to redo the stage anyway. So great. Oh well, we'll get as far as we can, so I can try to remember the uh oh toads or frogs. I don't remember. Wait, can I actually die from a uh, hit in the bottom? Oh, that's the boomerang making that noise. Huh. It goes rrr, 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 for some reason. That is weird. I'm going to say that's a toad. Uh, ah. I went the way, I went the way uh, uh, Simon's just... Uh, yeah, let's continue. You can't save the game and come back later. That's the benefit of playing this version, but we'll continue playing. Uh, I like. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, he kind of does that in the original game too. How like Simon just butt butt up when he dies. He's. I mean, when he just fall flat, you know. Uh oh. Ah man. <laughs> I just. I I knew it was there, but. All right. Yeah, we'll probably we'll be. Mm, that's not a good start. Uh. Yeah, we're, we're starting to where we're going to have to redo levels multiple times until we uh, get the hang of it. Oh, well, that's that's the fun of this. 
But I do, I, I'll, I'll probably get back into my mood where I start getting pissed off if I get hit once because I want to, you know, try to get to the next area and I'll be angry at myself for letting myself get hit so easily, you know. Hmm. It, uh, ah. uh, but that's more of like a, I don't know what's the word, it's me getting invested in the game in this case. In some games I would play the game for it, I'd be like, no, the game sucks, not me. But in this case, I'm like, no, it's me. I, I, I'm, hate, I'm beating up on myself. But yeah, I might keep the watch and see if we can utilize that a bit. Uh, and try to save some... Uh... Oh! Come on, man. I gotta keep remembering that I can I can, I can, can affect my jumps. I'm still playing by Castlevania 1 rules when it comes to jumping around. Yeah, I don't know why I'm acting like that. It's... <laughs> I guess it's because I played so much of the original one not too long ago before recording this, so it's just like I almost went straight into the this uh, this game almost shortly afterwards. So I've got still got Castlevania One in the brain. Obviously, I took a break in between recordings because after after the stressful nature of beating um, Dracula, you know, I think I think the watch actually lasts longer in this version too. Oh, come on! Really? Aw, oh, man. Should have backed up. Man. Talk about bad luck. Well, I mean bad play. But still. I blame... I blame Congress. That's my that's my answer for all that. I forgot what, where I got that from. I, I, I think it was... Was it Farside or... It was some comic. It was... Back in the day, we used to... There was comics published in your local newspaper... And, um, man, there was, like, anything from, it really, those comics, sometimes they weren't funny. That's the, that's the sad thing about, about some of them. Um, oh, yeah, the invincibility, so I could just, but, because if I read them today, I'm trying to remember if any of them really made me laugh out loud. Most of them were entertaining, but I don't know if I call them super funny, though. I mean, Cal uh, Calvin Hobbes was entertaining. I don't know if, uh, it's, a, it's a case of I don't know if I would laugh out loud at Calvin Hobbes, but I liked reading the stories or about Calvin, the trouble child, and stuff like that. I don't even know if anyone watching this remembers like things like Calvin and Hobbes. It's funny how I'm talking about that when we're playing Castlevania, but you know when you get when you start playing a level multiple times, you have to figure out things to do. And unlike Castlevania One, where the levels were only like so many boards, you know, like of course stages, boards, whatever. Um, you could, uh, you know, you could talk about the next stage, but here, since they're a little bit longer, I've got to, I got to uh, figure out, kind of get good conversation going. While... Oops. Ah. Thought you could jump that. Huh? Did I destroy something that prevented me from jumping that, or did I just? Huh? That's weird. I. How did I get there then originally? Am I am I uh, am I stupid? I guess well, I, you know ask a stupid question, right? I guess I could, should talk about my like experience with Castlevania. I didn't. I hardly did that in the previous in ca the Castlevania one playthrough, mainly because I was dealing with like trying to survive and beat Dracula by that point. So I wasn't even thinking about like oh, I should have kept the watch. Oh well. Oh come on. Yep. Stupid frog should have killed you. Would have left you off screen. Or taking it. Nope. Oh, come on. Nah. Ah. No. More. And then we got mud women or something like that. Ah. Well, the best part was left behind at least. No. Just kidding. Huh. Come on, ladies. There's enough Simon to go around. I don't even know what a. I don't even think they ever talk about like. Uh, Oh, right, you can't, uh, you'll slowly, like, sink in the mud. So be... You have to be careful about, uh, uh, I was actually going to bring up, I don't think they ever talk about Simon's, uh, uh, whoever Simon, like, marries or whatever. Not that's a big deal. Tr you know about his ancestor. You figure out about that one pretty early. Uh, either for those who, um, watch the, uh, I think you have to, like, either map, what, whip down, I think, yeah. One of the few times where we actually start having to utilize whip down. I don't know why I thought about that for a second, about who 
Simon Mary to continue, because for the longest time, Castlevania's storyline was about, like, each generate almost each every other generation of Belmonts would fight Dracula. At some point, it got a little silly. It's just like, how many times is Dracula just going to... How many times is Dracula going to come back? You know, at some point, wouldn't it be like, you know, I've been killed by this family, like, quite a few times. Perhaps it's time to put up the put up the bad guy uh, role for quite a while. Okay, for some reason, I couldn't get the angle on the... Uh... Oh! Whoops. Yeah, that, that... I mean, it was obvious what that thing does because I had the blood on it. I was just... I, I did the whole go backwards when I should have just been going forwards. But I was afraid of dying at the... Um... dying on the uh, spikes up ahead, but... but oh, by the way, uh, you slide on this ice stuff here, for those who are wondering why I'm, like, moving around all weird. It's because I... You know, I'm slipping and sliding. Woo! Slip and slide and dip and dive and slip and slide. Yeah, might as well get the clock. I wonder if that actually works on the, um... that platform there. Maybe. Nope. Well, that's not enough time to jump. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Because I jumped and it killed me. So, do I just have to wait till uh, it uh, till I can just walk off of it? I guess so. Seems a bit counterintuitive. You would think uh, you'd want to walk as fast as you could or or jump at, at it so you could get the jump. But, uh, okay. But yeah, we, we also know that the clock does not work on that. So, I guess I could jump on it and then... Oops. I knew he was there, but I decided to just let him hit me. I have a thing about bats hitting me, you know? It, it, it's, it's, it's in my genes. Yeah, I've only got one life to live, too. Well, let's uh, try activating that and see if that resets when I get back on it. Okay, there we go. Nope, okay. Whew. Wait, is there a princess in that ice there? Huh. Almost looks like maybe Princess Peach or... Ah! It kind of reminds me, that enemy kind of reminds me of something from, like, um, Super Star Wars or whatever it's called. Oh, man, that game. Oh, boy. If you want a game that, like, wants to test your patience and skill, that's one of those games. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, there was a flea man in there, and I knocked him out, or knocked him out of the... Oh. <laughs> there we go. I don't think you can actually... I knew there too. Okay, I didn't think you could actually release her from the uh, from that. Mm. Nope. I was about to say, did I accidentally? Aw, oh, what? Shenanigans. I call shenanigans on that. Or there's another word. Oh, that's kind of cool. The um, that that one in the background is the uh, Nosferatu the, from the old. I think it was a German movie. I think it was a silent movie. Was it like 1911 or something like that? Something like that. I'm not a. I'm not the biggest like uh, movie aficionado, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm um, misremembering like what time Nosferatu was was filmed and, and when it came out and everything like that. Oh, it's fine. I'll keep the clock. Whatever. Right, I think we should be at the boss. Yep. Of course, we're gonna die now because of uh, health, but. And unfortunately, the clock doesn't work on bosses, so. Alright, random wizard dude. Cool. Okay. Ah! Oh, that didn't kill. Oh, uh, okay. Shouldn't that have killed me? Okay, this guy can be a bit tough. Ugh. I must just had. I must he just probably doesn't do a ton of damage. That's probably it. I was like, shouldn't that have killed me when he first. Ow! And it begins again. Oh, I. I because of the whole, we had to go through the whole stage to get to him. I just had to, I just had to keep my life a bit longer. That's all. Yeah, we're gonna get to that point. Where we're gonna have to be repeating multiple stages here pretty soon. I might have to call it an episode here pretty soon, so I can kind of, uh, if I, uh, if I die again, I might, I might do that just to uh, break it up, so that way I can uh, get back to this point. Uh, and that, uh, maybe do a better job of keeping my life um, intact instead of a... I don't know why I'm, I keep jumping. I keep thinking I'm, something's going to happen if I... Oh! The whole point was not to get hit by that guy. 
I guess I could have. I guess I could have clocked myself to. Uh, I could have clocked myself right in the face. Let's see if we can try to save our health by not getting hit by the flea men all willy nilly. Oh, I don't. I'm using the clock. There we go. Nope, nope. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I was afraid he was gonna... Some bones were gonna be left behind and I was gonna suffer from that. I, it, I'll i admit it's been a while since, uh, speaking of the Nosferatu guy, I, it's been a while since I've watched Nosferatu. I don't... I, I, try, I think I remember watching it. I think it was for, like, a course, a college course or something like that, like, on... Uh, yeah, we'll do the a boomerang. I think it was like a like a movie studies course or something like that. It was one of those random electives you do when you're in college, that like it's not part of your degree, but you do it for fun just to see, like, what you could learn. You know, if you have the extra money or cash or whatever. Um, which, funny enough, I never finished college, mainly because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with myself, and I didn't want to keep spending like thousands, thousands of dollars getting in debt to like something I wasn't even sure I wanted to even do. You know. What I mean? You have to be careful because of a. Uh, um, uh oh. Ah! A demon! A demon! Okay, sir. I was about to say, seriously, dude, you need to, like, get in. Like, you need to appear so I can smack you. Ah, oh, dang it! Yeah, this might be. Might be called for. Dang it! Ugh. It's because when you summon that thing, you can't hurt him. So, all right. Well, uh, we'll take a quick break here. Uh, so, in the next episode of Castlevania Chronicles, the original version, we'll uh, continue our way towards Castlevania, fighting more wizards and monsters and death and stuff like that. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.